New Orleans uh, SmartCon, when we had SmartCon in New Orleans, was the tastiest SmartCon. Mm -hmm. Good, Kevin? Yeah. All right. Uh, we have two presumptive or possible bids for 2024. Uh, one of those is uh, for DC in 2024, uh, and Bill Lawhorn will be uh, discussing that with us. Uh, do you have slides, Bill? Yeah, okay. they popped up those slides earlier than the. Oh, that pretty thing, yes. Yeah. So we've done that, so we can't prepare That's that. a John Capaccio piece. Yes, it is. Times three. And yes, we have, we have paid the artist, as you all like to see. Um, after the incredibly devastating loss in 2015 for 2017, we took a little break and we had said that at the thing we, we launched our 2042 bid for DC and we determined and we said we would bid for another year unless it was a major anniversary for us. And in this case, 2024 is the 50th anniversary of DC or Discon 2. So it's the 50th anniversary for us and we'd like to come back. Um, the Baltimore Washington Area World Town Association is a 501c3, which is the sponsoring organization. Um, we've hosted Nebulas, we've hosted uh, World Fantasy, we've hosted numerous things. We, the Washington Science Fiction Association, another group there, the Baltimore, Washington, or the Baltimore Science Fiction Society, have been working together on some other activities. So we actually have a lot of fan buy-in for the area to help run and numerous people involved with the bid. Um, just a quick thing of some of our current members of the Baltimore Washington Area World Town Association um, they are listed there. And I'm gonna cut it at that. We don't need to go into whole things. We did have a brief conversation with the uh, Wardman Park, which was our 2050 our 2017 site. They're still interested in having us, so we would like to go back there and do our world count under one roof. Cool, thank you very much.